Okay, guys, so I totally forgot to go ahead and craft the equipment piece. I've been hyping it up for so long now. We are crafting the fourth piece of Angela Guardian here. We're getting really, really close to completing the entire set. So out of the two pieces here, we have a sword primary boost, which I would use, and we have a heavenly strike damage, which I obviously wouldn't use. I'm not a heavenly strike build, so I wouldn't even touch this equipment piece. So I'm really hoping right now for this one, for the mythic aura, but we're going to go ahead and craft it here hoping oh, okay so we got the slash i mean like i said we needed to get it anyways but we're just not going to be using it i'll probably I'll honestly end up selling it for the 100 diamonds because we are so short on diamonds right now but that's actually a pretty good one we got porter multiple spawn chance a critical chance so it's still pretty good but our heavenly strike one uh i i don't know we'll probably end up selling both of them because i have no intentions to switching to a heavenly strike build anytime soon but uh i'll have to make that decision a little bit later but i just wanted to throw that in the video because uh, i totally forgot to craft it uh in the actual video so we got one piece we're one piece away ladies and gentlemen we are uh only 73 shards away guys I'm, I'm really looking forward to it but enjoy the rest of the video hey guys you dog plays they're bringing you guys another video today is going to be top titans 2 part 258 i hope everyone is having an absolutely wonderful day today is going to be the mid tournament update and unfortunately i don't have a ton of uh like really good news oh we got a geforce game driver available sweet um but i don't have a ton of really good news to be honest with you we are still preparing for the tournament so if you guys saw in yesterday's video we were a little ill prepared but i said that's okay because you know the new event just kicked off so doing as many prestiges as we can is a really good thing to do so i ended off and i think i was second place here i was quite a ways away from first i may have been third i'm not too sure but we got to max stage there were still a lot of people that still haven't even hit max stage so i'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the results here so we are fourth place and we have dropped all the way down to seventh so that is a little worrying for sure but Wow, okay, this is going to be difficult. I was going to say, but we should be able to get uh, climb up the ranks a decent amount, but my goal was to get to 80,000. So we should at least be, we're definitely 100% going to beat number six. Um, and then, you know, all the rest of them are going to be a grind, but I do plan on switching to a uh, farm build, or sorry, I did switch to a farm build. We're, I'm still working on that custom deck that I was talking to you guys about. Uh, we're still working on a custom deck for right now, or a build for right now, but I did switch to just a plain old shadow clone farm build but i also did max out fairy charm so it was one thing that i did kind of uh i wasn't supposed to in a farm build so that's one thing that i did just because i wanted to do as many prestiges as i could and because of the new the event because i bought the event pass and there's a promotion going on right now it's only 50 diamonds 50 diamonds to switch build so i was like you know what let's just go ahead and switch builds let's switch to a farm build prepare as much as we can I got my book of shadows to i believe 53 percent we probably have six I, i'd say at least probably six runs or so banked which is pretty good to be honest with you i'm pretty happy with that um, i'm not really complaining you know that's not a ton banked but that's still better than nothing for sure so uh we're going to be switching to a farm build here after today's video and then i'm going to go ahead and try to push as much as i possibly can uh obviously like i said we're getting at least bare minimum to 80,000. i would love to pass 80,000. Uh, you know go above and beyond that and with a push build i think i may be able to do that so really curious to see how this turns out like i said 80,000, but we're definitely going to try to go past that if we can uh but we're going to go and activate our perks here we got power swiping we also got adrenaline rush we are still out of dooms so we are going to have to wait till next tournament uh the one that starts on saturday is going to be the uh hero weapons one and in yesterday's video i was uh talking about like the abyssal tournaments and apparently those are only on saturday so only on the Saturday tournaments, you'll have the Abyssal tournaments to do as well. So that's something on top of the, you know, regular tournament. It's not replacing the regular tournament. It's something to do on top of the regular tournament. So I was talking about this with my Twitch chat, and it seems like we have a lot to do. But it feels weird that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not complaining about new content whatsoever. I'm saying this is about to be a grind. Uh, because we got, we got the new event grind. We got solo raids that we still have to do. We got our raid attacks that we still have to do. Uh, we have our normal tournaments that we still have to do. And then we have the Abyssal tournaments that we still need to do. Um, so that's going to be a lot. That's going to be on Saturdays. You know, obviously raid attacks and stuff like that don't take a long time. So that doesn't really count. But for me, solo raids take a decent amount of time. Especially if, if I'm trying to get, you know, as high as I possibly can. If I, you know, let's say I could get to 38, but I stop at 35 because it's taking too long. Obviously, that'd shave a lot of time off. But trying to optimize is what takes a very, very long time. You know, there's times where I've spent 20 minutes or 30 minutes on one solo raid one solo raid level because i'm just so close i'm like 10,000, 30,000 damage away and i'm just i really want to get that just a little bit extra damage so 
No, I've done that before and it takes me a couple hours to finish the solar race and I can't even complete it. I can't even get to stage 40 where you get crafting shards, which is such a good reward. But, uh, you know, the Abyssal tournaments is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully in this tournament, we'll be able to go and do decently well. Um, you know, we dropped three ranks while I was sleeping, which isn't that bad. Uh, these people are from China. This is the China flag and they are 21 hours behind me. Uh, or ahead of me, sorry. So we, they should be sleeping probably by now and we should be good to go. So I'm hoping, I'm praying that we still, uh, that we could pass them and then just, you know, we don't have to worry about these guys. Um, that guy's from the States, but we should be able to do decently well. Like I said, uh, I think, you know, pushing a 400 stages on top, you know, that, that's a, that's a lot. You guys are, they're asking for a lot. You know, we're about 700 stages away from this guy, even more than 700 stages away from that guy. Uh, you know, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be a grind, but I haven't pushed yet. So I should be able to do decently well. Uh, like I said, we have a little bit banked. We don't have a ton, but we have a little bit banked. Uh, let's see what our book of shadows dropped down to 47%. So it's not too bad, but I do want to go ahead and craft the new enchantment today. Um, it's really not costing us anything. As you can see, we have uh, 121 and it's going to cost us 109. So it's really not going to cost us any relics. Uh, so we're going to go and do the new enchantment. I wonder what it could be. And it is avian feather. So this is going to be weapon expert. Um, so we'll go ahead and read. Oh, it didn't even. Let me try to find it. Avian feather. I honestly, I don't even really. Oh, we do upgrade this one a little bit. Um, the weapon expert bonus increases the strength of your sword boost and heavenly strike damage multiplier. So. Heavenly Strike damage doesn't really help us. Sword boost does, but, uh, you know, we don't upgrade it very much. I think I do 1%, one, one, 1 so I'll, I'll go like this, and then I would do 1%, one, 1 on uh, that one. So, I mean, it's better than having it not enchanted, I guess, but that was the new enchantment. It's super exciting, but, uh, you know, not super exciting, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and claim our another reward here. So people, oh, the raid complete. Okay, I thought this was someone buying the season pass, but we did complete the raid. So we got 605 raid XP, 3,456 raid dust, 150 cards, and 15 scrolls. So you guys may be wondering, this is a little bit less than what we got last time for completing the raid. And it is because what we did is our, well, because of the downtime, I we thought that a lot of people were going to miss, uh, you know, miss attacks and stuff like that. So we actually did a... A, da a 3 25 raid, just something that we know we could complete really easily because a lot of people did miss attacks because of the downtime. It was down for hours and hours. So I think it went down at 7 my time and it finished at 2.30 or something like that. So it was down for a really long time. So I'm glad that we didn't do like a push raid or something like that. And then we would have completely thrown it. We would have thrown away a bunch of raid tickets and stuff like that. So I'm really glad that we did that, to be honest with you. I think that was a really good idea because I didn't know that people were, or I didn't know, didn't even think of that, to be honest with you. I thought, uh, you know, downtime was pretty much instant um, I because I've never really waited for a patch to come out. So that was really, really smart. Uh, but we will go ahead and collect all the rewards and take a look at the shop because I am in need of some new raid cards. We do have a decent amount of dust, though, as well, uh, getting even more now. So we're going to go and collect all of this stuff here. So uh, we got some Swarm, Whip of Lightning, Cosmic Haymaker, Flash Shot, Prismic Rift, Blazing Infernal, Grim Shadow, Ancestral Favor. Not a lot of good ones so far. Ancestral Favor is not bad, but that's about it. Darn it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and we'll take a look. Hopefully the shop has reset. I don't know how often the raid card shop resets. Okay. It did reset. Nice. Um, so we have actually Victory March. I will go ahead and purchase. We have 6,223 dust. So we're going to go and purchase Victory March. Um, I do use Swarm an absolute ton as well. So let's go ahead and purchase Swarm and Grasping Vines. You know what? We have a lot of dust. So let's go ahead and just blow through it right now. Uh, the rest of them I am going to leave for right now. I use, you know, Cosmic Haymaker, and, or Cosmic Haymaker and Inspiring Force every once in a while. But definitely not as much as these three cards. So if we take a look here, still missing nine cards now from, um, from a Purifying Blast. But that, yeah, that's really, oh, we can't upgrade Victory March. That is something that I'm definitely going to do for a thousand dust. Victory March is such a good card. And another card, like I said before, that really increases my average raid damage for sure. Average attack damage, definitely. Um, and then Moonbeam is something that I will maybe upgrade later. Skull Bash, things that I'm just putting off. Uh, I'll keep buying the cards and stuff like that for whenever I need to use the card. But I'm putting that off for now. Still just waiting for Totem and Purifying Blast to come in the shop. But we did actually get a Totem last night. Uh, it wasn't many cards. I don't know how many it was, but I think we, I think it was, I don't know. I don't even think it was 24 to be honest with you. Uh, it may have been even less. It wasn't very many cards, but we still got some for totem, which is nice, but we're still quite a ways away. We're really just need purifying blast. That is the one that I'm kind of just waiting on to be honest with you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the shop here. 
Uh, we got Xander, Jaws, and Bubbles. I would honestly purchase Bubbles because we talked about that uh, a couple videos ago saying that I'm going to start buying Nova and Bubbles because that's all gold and all damage multipliers. I'm going to start buying those two pets. But we're so close to a Titan chest that I'm just saving my diamonds. If we could go ahead and get decently well in this tournament, we will be able to go and purchase a Titan chest. Uh, but it does it's on for a long time till the 20 seconds. We got a lot of time, but we're still 718 diamonds short. So if we take a look here, view all prizes, 718 diamonds. So we would need to get uh wow, we would have to we literally have to win to, to get enough diamonds. So we definitely probably won't be getting it this tourney. Um, but hopefully soon with you know, maybe a I don't know, a fourth and a two fourth place or a fourth and a sixth. I don't know. Something like that in the near future, but hopefully we can get, you know, quite a bit further than what we are now. Get as many diamonds as we can. And obviously with the event and stuff like that, we're going to be getting a lot of diamonds as well. So it probably won't take till next tournament, but it may as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our video chest here. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open, hoping to get some, uh, some raid cards if we can actually. No, it's an equipment piece. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see what equipment pieces, if I've got any of the vent ones. We've actually got three out of five of the vent pieces, which is awesome. Uh, we got, we're close to getting the 11 times all hero damage. We need the slash primary boost one and the clan ship damage one. So we are getting close to that. There is a few that I'm actually missing that I really wish I could have finished. Uh, we're missing one piece there, one piece there. We, you know, we got really close in some of these, but unfortunately the event ones are gone now. So hopefully they'll come back maybe later on in the future, but no promises there. Uh, we are going to go ahead and dispatch some pets as well. I do want to focus, uh, you know, we will do this one. We'll send that out because we're getting a level. But I do want to focus on Nova and Bubbles uh, because obviously we're, you know, going to be buying those pets. We could save us some money. But I want to try to get the high star. Three star isn't great, you know. Uh, so let's go ahead and re-roll this. And we just got two, six, two, two stars. There we go. This is what we needed because Nova is a high, not high enough level. Wow, we are wasting diamonds. Okay. Uh, we're re-rolling, you know, you know what, let's, this is Bubbles, let's go ahead and send him out, um, and then let's re-roll these for eight, yeah, okay, uh, I'm done, we're, we're done blowing diamonds here, and we can't even send that one out because he's equipped, absolutely ridiculous, but <laughs> I just got way too cocky, I thought we'd be able to get a four star there, and it would have been absolutely perfect, because the three stars didn't get us as much XP, but unfortunately, we couldn't get lucky enough, but that is A-OK, -okay. but guys, with that being said, I'm gonna have to go and end today's video here, uh, hopefully we can pull through in this tournament. I'm really, really hoping we can. If you guys, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below how you guys did it in your first tournament of the brand new event. I'd be really curious to know. And our present count is currently at 570 without buying any Titan chests. Leave a comment down below how many presents you guys are currently at. Because I think 570 without buying any Titan chests isn't too bad. Uh, it's definitely not great or anything, but it's not too bad, I don't think. So... But guys, with that being said, I'm going to have to go and end today's video here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content. I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.